Hi everybody, Stefan here from EDC Austria and today I want to show you the on the road M3 light. The on the road M3 light is a nice small light that's driven by a CR123A battery. These are either non-rechargeable with 3.0 volts or you can get the rechargeable ones with 3.7 volts and of course the rechargeable ones are a lot stronger and can get it to higher lumens. If you are now thinking, hey, this looks somewhat familiar, I can show you why. This is the M3 and here is an Olight light from two years ago. And if you look at these, they are virtually identical. Although, to be fair, the UI is completely the opposite. With the, with the OLED you have to press to change modes and, and push to get it on and off. And here you press to get it on and then you push to go through the modes. By the way, this is the ultra low mode which has five lumens and will go for 45 hours then it already goes to 150 lumens which goes for two hours and 30 minutes then to 310 lumens which is medium which it can hold for one hour and 15 minutes and 650 lumens which it can hold for 40 minutes and then if you double tap it goes to 920 lumens but they don't tell you how long this lasts because this is only intended as a short term turbo mode and of course three clicks is strobe then press once again it's a beacon and one more time you get the SOS. This is, except for the pretty similar build to the Olight, is indeed a very nice light. It's IPX8 rated, meaning it can go underwater for up to 30 minutes to a depth of 2 meters. And this one is even fall resistant to 2 meters. Most are only fall resistant to 1 meter. And another thing about this light which is awesome you find in the package. Here is a very well written English manual. But here you get a, a very thick pouch that, is, that, that protects the light against anything. This is about half an inch thick, the outer layer, so even though the light is resistant to a fall up to two meters with this one, it's even safer. I've never seen anything like it come with a regular light in the bag. And it really feels of high quality. And you can feel this is a really nicely made material. This is a unibody design. You just have to open here. This is by the way the 6500 to 7000 Kelvin version. So the, the bright light which I always call it wrongly and I can never remember the right name. The maximum beam distance, by the way, is 130 meters and the candela, the maximum, are 4200. And there are a bunch of different versions. You either get the natural light or the bright white or you can also buy them this one 
I have the single pack. This one goes for 21 euro at Gearbest. But there is also a version that includes the battery and the charger. And that's only 25 euros. So I'll include links to all those versions. But I and it also nicely enough has a tail a magnet on the tail switch just as the O light and in this case it is not too weak like the Nightcore concept one that was a bit too weak. This one they really made everything pretty perfect. I'm not sure how long the warranty is. Probably not five years like with an OLED, but it still feels really like a premium light. And if you're not in the mood of spending 50 euros for a light, or if you can't spend it and just want a good Christmas present, this would be the way to go. Here are some night shots. Okay, here we have five lumens. Then 150, then 310, now 650 and now 980 the full power of this light. And you see here really how nice it illuminates everything, well when I have it turned on. And there is no washed out colors or anything and it has no problem bringing a constant light. That's another thing I didn't mention, it's digitally controlled so the light will stay the same brightness until the battery is empty which is good so that you don't have a flickering light or one that gets dimmer and dimmer over time. But this one is really a neat light for a relatively good price. And now we check the difference and you'll see fast that the quality of the light between the OLED and the on the road M3 is very similar. It's hardly any brighter and the colors don't look better either. So from a technical standpoint here these lights are pretty even. Of course this one recharges in the light but that's it. I hope you enjoyed those. The second one were to compare just the Olight S1R, which is a small light. You can see here it's even smaller than this one because this one took its design hints from the S10 and not from the S1, so it it's about two years behind from the O light design but all in all it's a really well built light and quality wise there are no complaints it's like a Ganso and a Benchmade they are both made pretty well and there is a price difference but they look the same but they don't write O light on it falsely they write their own name on it and it is a quality light, you can feel it and you see it in the light quality it emits. It is worth the 21 or 26, I should have taken the one for 26 with the battery and the charger, that would have been a better deal. But I can wholeheartedly recommend this. I hope you like this short review. If you did, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in new videos. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything of that sort, please leave a message in the comments. And have a great day. Bye bye.